We figured since we have a few three-year-olds, let's put them to the test. I don't know if she knows where everything is. I don't know if she'll be able to find everything, but let's see what she does. Etta, age three at the Bay Village Heinens, and over in Strongsville, Jax, who is also three. I do not think either of them could do the grocery shopping or even go to the store by themselves. I still wipe his butt, so no, I do not think he's old enough to go grocery shopping. What are you gonna get? The butter and the how, how many bananas? Three. You think you can go to the cash register and pay? Yeah, hope it doesn't fall out. Me too. Jax, you coming over here? <laughs> Ready? Okay. Jax is told to get apples and Pringles, but is already starting with extra items. He runs through the store with so much confidence, darting between shoppers' legs. In Bay Village, Etta is running around, tips her cart over. Both kids have to come and ask where items are in the store as us moms wait in the wings. All right, your total is 1705. Etta almost shoplifts, but remembers the money. Etta, you have to pay with the money. Both kids come away with all of the items on their list. Almost. A yogurt, flower yogurt. Let's see. This is <laughs> cottage cheese. I was really proud of how Jax went right for it. And uh, he did find the apples. I thought he would get lost in the store a little bit. When I'm grocery shopping, I can send her down an aisle to try and get things on her own. But I think I will never send him shopping by himself. But this wasn't about shopping. And in Dr. Carolyn Ivers Landis's opinion, mission accomplished. Did you notice how the children were so proud at the end? And just that feeling of pride and how the parent shared in that, and it was such a positive experience. So I'd say the hardest part that both Jenny and I felt when letting our kids out of sight was a fear for their safety, whether someone else shopping would turn in a toddler on the loose and call the police. But one question that I had for Dr. Ivers Landis, how can you tell if your child isn't ready for one of these big tasks? And she says, if they cry, that's a sign that they might still need your help. So have your kid order for themselves. Have a teenager call in a prescription is what she mm -hmm. uh, recommended. But for the most part, you know, it was very eye-opening because I think we do just, we say, we'll do it for you. We'll just do it for you. And I get that fear even, I was saying, sending my eight-year-old down to the mailbox, like, oh, is she gonna step into the street? Is she going to, you know, talk to a stranger on the street? And so I hover, but what mm -hmm. I really should be doing is letting them do these tasks so that when it is time for them to go grocery yeah. shopping on their own, maybe in college or whatever, they, they're not confused or, right. or wondering what to do. Yeah, I would agree with that. My question on that show, that three-year-old mm -hmm. running an errand, yeah. is there a supervisor, like someone so watching over them? So on this show, them? the parents don't go with them, See, but that's a camera crew is with them. Okay. So they are being supervised. So there there's, has to there's be. a camera crew yeah. there, and, and they, they show you that within the show, yeah. but the, the mom and the parents, I mean, Jenny and I were closer by staying at the front of Heinen's. Special thank you to Heinen's for, for playing along with us, too. Um, we stayed at the front of the store, but in the show, we would have sent our kids out the door and said, walk to the store. And I don't think that our society right. is ready for that yeah. at no. all. I mean, if you saw a three-year-old walking down the street, even if they were holding a little flag, you'd call the police. Right. Yeah. So. I, do, I do like the message, though, about when they're older, having more responsibility. Yeah. And it, they like no it. Yeah. They like to feel that yeah. responsibility. Yeah. I will say this, though. My nine-year-old, if I let her loose in the grocery store, she'd have like eight carts and, and just grab that, everything. Yeah. She has no filter. Right. The junk food would yes. be at an all-time I was going to say, it'd be like letting my 15-year-old yeah. loose. Yeah. yeah. That bill was... No veggies, though. I, I'd have to work overtime for two weeks to pay for that grocery bill. All right.